Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Mark. My little guy's in the other room. It's early morning. I wouldn't call it early. It's about 10. There goes my little guy. Hello. It's now Mason. It's you, Mason? Yeah. What do you have to say today? He's going to go to Nanum. room. That means he's going to his big brother's room so he can play with his big brother's toys. Just be careful because your brother's going to get mad. So guys, it's about 10, 10 in the morning. I only have about four orders, four customers to thank. Oh Again, gosh. it's still early. So I know I'm going to have a lot more later. Daddy, daddy. Oh my God. That's, why That's so a big. cool Lamborghini. Um, so yeah, I only have about yeah, four yeah, orders yeah, to do yeah, right yeah. now. But my kid and I were actually ready to head out, get dressed, get breakfast, and Daddy, then... Daddy, I'm going to eat a pink donut. Okay. You want to get a pink donut? Yeah. Mmm, sounds yummy. Do you want coffee? Yeah. <laughs> I'm fine. You said, no, he's fine. No coffee. No stress tricks. Yeah, say, no coffee. Say, I'm too young. I'm too young. I'm too young. I'm too young. He's too young for coffee. Um... Now, actually, let me let me post. Let me hold this. You know what? Let me just hold it like this. Okay, Calla from Florida. Thank you. Your order's going out today. These are uh, you're another auction winner. You won ten packs of Modern Horizon. Uh, you will get this today's Wednesday. You'll get it on Friday. Willie from Chicago. These are two um, booklets. They come from Fat Packs. It's from Ravnica Allegiance and War of the Spark. Two booklets. Uh, I hope you enjoy them. You should get this by tomorrow. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have a hard time pronouncing this name. Lynn, short for Lynn. Lynn from California, thank you. You are an auction winner. You won yourself two, four Daddy, complete sets Daddy. of 2019 Daddy, up, Commander sets. Red car. You want a red car? No, gray car. Okay, can you say thank you, Lynn? Thank you. Lynn. Yeah. <laughs> Lynn, thank you. Your four sets are going out today. And now I have another auction winner. Same style, four complete sets of Commander 2019, Magic the Gathering. Yin from Minnesota. Congrats, you're an auction winner. Your orders are going out today. You guys should be getting them by tomorrow, Friday, maybe Saturday, depending on your location, if it's a business or residential. Mason, where are you? Are you still at your brother's room? Buddy, your brother's gonna kick your butt. Come on. Come on. Let's go to your room. Let's get dressed. Come on, we're gonna go. You're not hungry? Okay. Let's go.
gotta put these back, okay? So far, this is what I found a Transformer for 99 cents, Angry Birds Star Wars, and a Cabbage Patch box from 1985. Uh, now this will put back. Alright guys, so welcome back. We're here at home. I have three full bags of goodies from Goodwill or Salvation Army. I believe they changed the name now. It used to be Goodwill, now Salvation Army. Um, I went today. Main purpose was because I was told from a worker there a couple of days ago. She told me come Thursday because it's a uh, all half off. I'm not sure why. Uh, they're running the same style on Black Friday, but I don't know why they're doing it a week before. Not sure. But either way, I took advantage. As you saw my clip, I couldn't even find parking. I had to park it right in front. Uh, luckily, I, par I, par I found a parking spot right in front. Uh, we were looking, driving around, looking for a spot, and somebody had left, and I came in. Now, before I get started, I put it in this bag specifically. The total amount, I spent 29 bucks and 17 cents on all this. Okay, so this is just a flyer they gave me, 50% off all clothing, Black Friday savings event, $11.29. So anybody, Black Friday, Salvation Army, 50% off clothing. But for some reason, today was even better because it's everything, not just clothing, toys and whatnot. <clears throat> Let me put this here so I don't lose it. So let's get started. I took advantage of this. This is an awesome Puma, it says $3.99, got it for two bucks. It's a size medium, a red Puma jersey. It's very nice, I like how it has the Puma uh, emblem. Right here, the logo's on the top shoulder. And then there's something here, it says Puma Pan Strut. Very nice. Now I got this right here. This is an Adidas. I believe I can't tell the size. It's very nice. It's $4.99, but I got it for $2.50. This is awesome. This is a Phillies. I don't know, it seems old school, just the quality. It's a uh, Majestic. Yes, Majestic Extra Large, $4.99, got it for $2.50. Very nice. I don't know, for some reason, I like the quality. It feels old school. It may be old school. The tag is there, but it looks old and faded. Number 6350, Majestic Extra Large, made in USA. Authentic, very nice. All the buttons are there, I double checked, yes. Oh man, and then I got some cool toys. Now, my kid was going crazy for these. These, this is $1.99, got it for a dollar. This is a Transformer. I've sold many Transformers before for my older kids' toys, and they sold right away. So, this is pretty cool. Pull some photos when I get the chance. This was 99 cents, got it half off, 50 cents. It's another Transformer. There was a bucket of Transformers. Uh, if you see one of the clips today, you see that I, I spotted one, but then when I look, search more, there was a bucket full of these guys. 79 cents, 80, it was 40 cents. This is Bumblebee, but the old school Volkswagen version. Pretty cool, they may be old, I can't tell. I'll look into those later, but I 
grab them right away before somebody else saw them. 99 cents, half off, it was 50 cents. This is the, the tank, bad, the bad guy, very nice. Another Transformer toy. This is it was 99 cents, 50 cents, half off. Uh, it's like a Corvette style. I don't know, I gotta play around with these guys. But you know what, for 50 cents each, why not? Now for my final bag. Hmm. This is a Cabbage Patch from the uh, early 90s. Mattel. Uh, so it comes with the baby right inside. It's pretty cool. All right, honestly, all these stuff, I didn't have the time to look at the comps on my phone. Uh, I was just mainly recording, walking around. Also, I have my kid with me, so it's very hard to record, look at the stuff. Uh, searching online when you're watching it when you're also watching your kid while you're shopping So it's quite difficult. I mean, I don't know how some people do it You guys do it alone or if you have your significant other watch your child while you go sourcing I tend to do it all together. My wife she works now before I get started with the other stuff that I have here I like to mention that I work from home now I grew up in that traditional style where the American dream is to I right after college get a job um, get married, have kids, buy a home, get cars. Yes, I believe that's still the American dream, but I feel like it's been updated where now the new American dream is to work from home or work for yourself. Now, it may sound awesome, it may sound cool, but there's a lot of factors that you need to consider. When you work for yourself and you're a sole proprietor, you run your own business from home, you need to understand if you have kids, those kids are a big part of your life where if you want to work in your office at home, you have a kid, you need to feed them, you need to put them to nap, you need to clean them. Um, you're, you're doing maintenance around the house because you're home, you're on the clock where if something goes wrong, you gotta fix it or call somebody to fix it. Um, if something's a problem with the electricity, you gotta call an electrician or if you know how to do it, you do it yourself. Same thing with plumbing. Um, uh, depending if you're an older kid where you have to pick them up from the school, the school bus, or the relationship that you have with your wife where you need to, um, if you're the one that cooks or you're the one that needs to go shopping for food, all that you need to consider when you work for yourself from home when you have kids. It's a, it's a relationship with, with your wife, your significant other, and how you guys have it. I tend to do a lot around the house and you may sound, it may sound cool that you work for yourself and um, it's very, you have to consider the factors of all that I mentioned, all that plus what you do for a living. If you're on the phone with suppliers, uh, sometimes I had to find a way to, con to, to put my kid in a quiet space so I can make a phone call with a supplier. All that stuff you have to factor in depending on your line of business. If you have clients that come to your location, your home, you gotta consider those people that come to your house while you have kids, all that. So it sounds cool that I do live the American dream, but there's a lot of work that you need to do. But I won't complain because I, I'd i rather work 80 hours for myself. I believe Raking Profit mentioned that. I'd rather work 80 hours for myself than 40 hours for someone else. I'll continue hustling. I'll continue working hard because I like what I do. I love what I do. I love to do it while with my kids. I mean, there are days where it's a little hard, but I'm not going to complain. So to be around your kids and watch them grow and have them appreciate you, it's awesome. Now when my wife gets home, we either go out to eat or we take turns and we do the cooking or we cook together. It's awesome being around. I mean, I'm not going to complain. I used to spend six hours a day just commuting, not getting paid, just a waste of time commuting. So I'm not going to complain. I love what I do. Uh, this right here, this is the one that my kid wanted really bad. Uh, this was 99 cents, half off, it was 50 cents. These are old, I feel like these are old school Transformers. Um, I don't know, just the way they're made. I have that there. Now this, I did have a time to look up. This was going for like 20 bucks online. I opened this up, it's Angry Bird Star Wars. I'm not sure if the complete set's in here, but there's a lot of stuff inside. 
$1.99, half off, a dollar. Not gonna complain. Let's see, open up for you guys. Um, yes, you got the Sith, like the pink Star Wars pig Sith. Then you've got the Luke Skywalker. And you have all these little guys. There's, I believe this is Han Solo. I mean, there's so many cool guys. I'll take a photo of these and see if I can post them. It's pretty cool. A dollar, not going to complain. Now, what do I have here? Star Wars, $2.99, $1.50. Not going to complain. This is a Halo Master Chief, red versus blue. Uh, $1.99, a dollar. Now this is the first time I purchased these because I tend not to purchase these style of clothing, but I recently sold one of my personal t-shirts online and I sold right away. It was a um, Armani Exchange um, polo shirt. So I said, you know what, why not? I took advantage, it was half off, everything. Tommy Hilfiger, extra large polo shirt, very nice. $5.99, half off, three bucks. Again, I had not looked at any of these except for this one guy. Everything else, I just bought blindly because I, I had my kid with me, I had no time to search online. $5.99 for this polo shirt, got it. Uh, three bucks, medium size orange polo shirt, very nice. And then another polo shirt. They're all wrinkled, but I'm gonna wash them and iron them before I list them. This is an extra large, but I think this is a kid's extra large because it looks small for an adult. $5.99, three bucks, not gonna complain. And then my last shirt, $5.99 for a polo wrap the line, extra large. I believe it's for another, for kids. And I'm assuming they're for kids because they don't look extra large, look small. It's very nice, I like the color. Uh, all this, I'm telling you, $29.17 is what I paid for all this. I'm not gonna complain, I love it. Uh, and then um, we went to Walmart, I didn't really do any, I should have checked the clearance section. I always have this habit. When I run the day, post office, now my new strategy is, my new route is post uh, Dunkin' Donuts, gas if I have to, post office, Goodwill, and then go to Walmart. Uh, but. I just went to get stuff that I need for earlier for this evening that I didn't even check clearing section. I was just out and about. But guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to, uh, oh, I, while we were shopping, I got two new orders to add on the four orders that I had just dropped off at the post. Dropping off the last two packages. Matthew, you want to say hi to everyone? Hello. That's my uh, bigger boy. Hello. Uh, I just want to do a thank you for the last two orders of the day. This is the end of day now. This is Rosario from Massachusetts. Thank you. Your order of, uh, this is a chin strap. You should be getting it very soon. Uh, you might get it tomorrow. If not, you'll get it on Friday. Now my last one. Uh, this is Darren. Oh, international. Darren going to, uh, to Canada, no. though you and congrats, you are a winner. You won the last, uh, the last, but you won twenty sealed Magic the Gathering Modern Horizon booster packs. Congrats for being the winner. That's Darren. So Darren, thank you, and Rosaria, Rosario, thank you for your order as well. Guys, we're heading to the post office, dropping these packages, and we're calling it a day. And then get some grub on. Congratulations.